Good morning to you, Patsy. Um, first of all, start by telling us, in, in your words, what exactly happened on Saturday evening. Hi, oh, yeah, thank you for having me. Um, I think, you know, it did start as a vigil. People wanted it to be peaceful and safe, um, but it, it did turn out, you know, the opposite of what we wanted. Um, it, it just, it was a bit of a whirlwind, to be honest. What was the atmosphere like initially and then what did it become? At the start, when we first arrived, um, it was peaceful. People were laying candles and flowers. I had a candle myself that I didn't actually get to lay down um, because it, it escalated so quickly. Um, but, you know, people were speaking through a microphone, uh, through, you know, a speaker, but they, they had to project their voices. Um, and I think, you know, I don't know whether that came across as slightly aggressive or something, but yeah, it just progressed from there. And what exactly were you doing when you were arrested? I was standing against um, a gate. So basically the, the, poli the police came onto the bandstand um, with us. And um, some of the, well, at first I wasn't on the bandstand, but someone said to come on because um, like women were being aggressively spoken to and we wanted to make sure everyone was safe. So we, you know, some people moved flowers out of the way to make sure that they weren't trampled on. And we went onto the bandstand and then all of a sudden there was a lot of police on the bandstand. Um, because of the amount of police we had to, we were sort of forced towards a barrier. Um, and at one point, you know, I saw the woman next to me, there was um, a police sort of put his arm around her throat and was trying to pull her backwards. So uh, we, were, we were very scared about what was going to happen. Um, there was someone in front of me telling me not to give them my name or anything. So I've, I've never been in a situation like this before. So I just thought, well, if I just don't say anything, I'm not sure what to do. Um, but, you know, I just stood there and I know someone was, a police officer was pulling my arm, trying to get my name. Um, and then all of a sudden I, I was tackled to the ground. So, yeah, we're, we're looking at the um, shots now of you being arrested. So what did the yeah. police officers actually say to you as they were, were taking you away? Um, they, well, as I was being taken away, behind me, one of the police officers um, that was holding on to me, I believe it was him, um, was saying, I've got my hand on my baton, I've got my hand on my baton, to one of the other officers. And I thought, this is so, like, terrifying, because we're about to walk into a crowd of people, and I don't know whether that crowd are going to, like, like, go against what's going on and me being arrested. I, I had no idea. Um, so I was worried for the safety of others. And I did say to the crowd, I said, he said he's got his hand on his baton, just be careful. Um, and then they said, she's antagonising the crowd, please move her back. I wasn't trying to antagonise anyone, I was just making sure everyone was safe. I have to say, in the shots that, that we're showing, you don't look terrified. What, what was going through your, your mind? To be honest, I, I was terrified. Um, but then when I looked up at the press, I had um, a small thought of, like, if this gets out, um, you know, I might be, um, you know, interviewed or something. And to be honest, in that moment, the fear didn't really matter to me. And I th think we need to direct it away from the police and actually towards the, the matter at hand and the issues at hand, which is the safety of women. We now have a voice and we need to progress this and, and make sure that women are heard and there's a dialogue open now. Just uh, one more on the, the vigil. Obviously, the, the initial uh, vigil that was planned by uh, Reclaim These Streets was officially cancelled. Um, why did you then go down? I think people were angry because if, um, if it wasn't cancelled, you know, the organisers did try and make it a safe event. We wanted... Um, police there and for it to be controlled and safe for everyone because women just wanted to you know share their experiences and, and show solidarity with one another because you know we all go through it and um, we can all relate to things um, that, that was happening to each other and to be honest um, you know when the, the police said it's not allowed to go ahead I think people were just annoyed and, and said you know all we want is a space to a safe space to mourn and 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 you know and be with each other. Yeah, as you say, it was a vigil. Um, one of Sarah Everard's friends, she's written a piece saying that she thinks Sarah would have been unsettled at how her death has been politicised. Uh, Helen Edwards is her name, and she says um, her, her killing has been hijacked and it's not a tribute to her anymore. Can you understand that sentiment, why she, she will feel like that in her grief? Yeah, of course, fully. 
um, you know, no, no one intended this. It was meant to be a vigil. All we wanted to do is pay respects. This, um, you know, I, I accidentally went viral. I didn't want, you know, I, I didn't. Un this happened like a whirlwind. You know, I don't. I, I thought about it and I thought, you know, I've been thrown into sort of the public eye, um, and the only way that I can make, you know, make this not in vain is to just from this not make it political, not make it, um, you know, against the police or against anyone. It literally is just about the safety of women and we need to just talk about it. You decided not to go to the, um, the gathering, the um, March from Parliament Square yesterday. Why was that? Have you rode back from your initial feelings? Um, there are a few reasons, um, you know, and I, I don't think it's safe for people to go, um, but, you know, there's not much more that I can say about it at the moment, um, unfortunately. But you don't think it's safe for, for people to, to, to gather in numbers? I just... I just hope people are going to be safe. You've used the hashtag Stand in Solidarity um, on social media. What is it now that you're hoping people will go on to do? Like I said, it's a dialogue um, and I think we need to come together as a society, men and women, to talk about what's happening, um, you know, change um, the, the system of women not and having a voice and not being safe to walk down a street. Um, and it, needs to, it just needs to keep going forward and the education, it just needs to be like, everyone needs to educate themselves on how they can change things. But you're not advocating gatherings or any protests in that form? Um, personally, I can't speak on it at the moment, but, um, you know, I, I, I do post on Twitter about it, so, yeah.